Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to Life After the Breakthrough. How are you all doing? We have got some technical issues today. My camera's not working, so you'll just have to imagine what I look like. <laughs> So do let me know that you can hear me okay. Let's see who we've got here in the Zoom room. Debbie, Alexandra, Leander, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to everyone on Facebook. Hi, Jane, welcome. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. That's so helpful. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I am so excited for our time together today. How's everybody been feeling? Are you feeling an energetic shift from our time together? Let me know in the comments. Would love to hear the impact that this has made on you so far. There's more to receive, there's more to receive. So you have now the Helix method model for mastering wealth energetics. And we've started to uncover how the six energetic blocks show up and impact our business and all areas of life. And you've had a taster experience of helixing, uncovering hidden energy reversals and the blocks around sales and the blocks around money. We go deep in the helix method. So, so often I see coaches making big mistakes with muscle testing where they only ask one question in relation to identifying blocks. And then what they're reading is the interference, the resistance, rather than getting to the root cause. Which is why we go three to five layers deep to get to the root when I'm working with you. And I know what questions to ask to get to the root. I've, and I've put all of these into the pro protocols and the flows that you can guide your client through within the Helix method. Yes, for those of you that are just joining us, you can't see me today. My camera's doing something weird. <laughs> and it wasn't getting fixed in time. So to honor everyone's time, we're going live. You're just gonna to have to imagine what I look like. <laughs> Got a picture of me there. But the slides work. So we're all good. We're good to go, we're good to go. So a bit of a recap yesterday, I invited you to continue together with us in Helix Method Mastery. And so this is for intuitive coaches who are looking for unparalleled results for themselves and their clients. Our live calls for the Helix Method start in September, but you'll get access to the membership site and the community straight away. So just reach out and ask for the link to learn more and we'll pop it over to you. And you'll see when you look at the link, we've got incredible savings for you as members of the Masterclass. These are time sensitive and they're, they're available until the end of Tuesday. So just to give you a heads up on that, I'll, I'll um, give you a bit of a recap at the end of our time together as well. But just to also remind you to book your energy alignment audit with me if you haven't had it already, super valuable. I want you to have some immediate actions that you can take to break through so you amplify your results. So book that call now. Um, and if you can't find a slot then, because my diary has got a bit full, then do DM me and we'll, and we'll figure something out. Alrighty, so let's take a moment just to set our intentions to become fully present so you can be focused on our time together. And to remind yourself, what's your intention? Why are you here? Why are you investing in yourself with limitless wealth? What is your intention for being here? How are these masterclasses contributing to your overall evolution? And I'd love to know on a scale of one to 10, how expansive and aligned to your intentions for that revenue amount that you want to call in over the next 30 days are you feeling right now? So just take a moment just to connect in with your body, to listen to your body, notice what you notice. Welcome everyone who's just joining us as well. Lovely to have you with us. We're just setting our intentions. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling on a scale of one to 10. You feeling good? Okay, this is awesome. Awesome. 
Yes, I read absolutely everything. Know that if I haven't circled back and commented, I can't comment on every single post. But I am reading everything. So I'm witnessing you. I've got you. Alrighty, so as you're reconnecting in with your intention, just going to invite you to notice if you've noticed this, because a new life begins after the, the, the breakthrough. So as you step out of your comfort zone, out of the identity that you're currently holding, this is when we trigger our subconscious to start screaming at us all the reasons why not to allow the success in. This is what I call being in the breakthrough, as you'll see in our model at the top there, in the breakthrough. This is where things can get a bit messy <laughs> or feel like they're getting a bit messy. The monkey mind is very quiet when we're doing our thing and we're not changing anything and we're in alignment with our current identity. And then when we start to step it up, the monkey mind starts monkeying around with various versions of, so let me know in the comments what resonates. You might have heard yourself thinking, what am I doing? <laughs> can you handle this? What if you can't keep this going? What will so-and-so think? What if this happens? What if that happens? Or what if so-and-so turns up? What if you burn out again? You haven't got time for this. It's not working. You've got too many things. Why don't you just stay where you are? As we've been talking this week, we know that our subconscious is simply trying to keep us safe and in alignment with our set point and our current identity. So if your brain has never seen or experienced something before it sees it as a threat so our stress hormones start to go up the blood flow and the brain is constricted so then we're less likely to take risks and then that slows down our action taking and that's where we start to find ourselves putting our our foot on the brake we're conditioned to be living life in a certain way from all the programming we've been talking about this week our parental programming transgenerational programming societal programming this stuff goes really really deep all imprinted into our energy field, all imprinted into our Akashic record. And we see this in the animal world too. Even in the teeny, teeny tiny weeny flea. When fleas are placed in a jar, they try and jump out, but after a lid is placed on it, the fleas will stop attempting to escape. They learn the boundaries of the environment they in. So even when the lid is then removed, the fleas never jump out. So their thinking has created this invisible lid, this invisible ceiling as the boundary. And so it's conditioned them to limit their jumping. And the flea zone past timelines and generational timelines, programming, conditioning, create imaginary boundaries. Their offspring never jump out. We're like the fleas. So we have these ceilings, these imaginary boundaries to keep us on that default future timeline. This is our default set point. We've been talking about this this week, our somatic default set point, and our bodies and our brains are going to want to keep us in line with that familiarity. So this is why you'll notice when I'm working with you, you'll have somatic responses, energetic responses to the rewiring and the imprinting work that we're doing with the Helix method. When we're helixing. So what does this all mean for breaking through a previous set point and, and life after the breakthrough? Well, there is actually a breakthrough cycle. The key bit is what follows after the breakthrough so you can hold this new level of expansion. Whether that's a new level of love, a new level of possibilities, a new level of wealth, a new level of allowing money to come in. So think of your breakthrough as your own hero's journey. Your starting point is your comfort zone, your current level of wealth or money. What feels normal to you? What feels normal in terms of how much you struggle? What feels normal in terms of getting out of situations? What feels normal to you in terms of following your desires? How much thriving feels normal in your body? Then we make the decision. I'm going all in. I'm elevating my consciousness. I'm changing my relationship with money. I'm changing who I am in relation to money. I'm changing my identity. I know this is the, the my path for the breakthrough so I can make a bigger impact in the world with my business. And we take that step over the threshold. And then we literally start to experience our thoughts going crazy in our mind, revealing the subconscious programming. 
all the beliefs in the subconscious has been holding that we're the program that we're running to keep you safe in familiarity that was likely beneath awareness unless we've been helixing and muscle testing on those so from those past timelines and we will inadvertently do everything to bring ourselves back to the timeline that we're programmed for really <laughs> interesting i feel aligned and then the monkey mind screams at me yes exactly exactly so then the challenges come up we don't feel like doing it anymore we tell ourselves we can do it on our own there's no one and the reason why that's such a sneaky one you can do it on your own is because there's no one there to bust your blind spots and call you out on your patterns it's a good one that one and you can find yourself diverted and then taking a lot longer to get to where you want to go because of this and of course you know some people give up they want to stay in familiarity they tell themselves that they're moving forward but are they really without being intentional and being an excellent steward of our consciousness we can revert back to old ways we find patterns repeating we contract back to those invisible boundaries that glass ceiling like the lid that isn't there anymore but we feel it whereas others then break through and of course the breakthrough isn't the end we need to then embody it embody that up level state that is the true transformation where we can hold it when they're able to stabilize it, we integrate. And then there's the next expansion onto that next breakthrough. Each new growth in business requires more of ourselves, requires growth in our identity, in our self-leadership. And I remember my, my first breakthrough that I created for myself with everything that I'd learned, which was which is what I teach now in the Helix Method. And as I was doing this, I could feel my vibration completely transforming and I could see my reality change around me. The opportunities that started to come my way blew my mind. The investment opportunities, the collaborations with really established brands, speaking at Wealth Energetic Summits for seven-figure earners and investors, more and more clients saying yes to working with me, which meant I got to contribute to more and more people. I had more money than expenses and it was all feeling so different and lighter and I could feel the difference of the, the peace in my heart and the low level stress that had been rumbling away in the cells of my body had gone. And I actually hadn't been aware it was there until it had gone. Does that make sense? That kind of felt like normal. And I had faith and certainty in my manifesting, faith in the universe, trust in myself, trust in the universe. And, and to me, all of that is priceless. And of course, we continue to grow. And this is where we embody, we integrate, we transform, we continue to do the inner work so our default set points don't pull us back. For me and my family, we're currently traveling the world. We've just done three months in Barcelona. I'm heading back to the UK today. Literally after our time together, I'm going to be jumping on a plane, going back to the UK to visit my mum for a couple of weeks, and then we're heading out to Thailand. My sons are coming with me, which is awesome. So looking forward to it. We've moved on to a new timeline, a higher timeline, one that serves and fulfills me right now. And it's requiring me to embody a new me. So my body feels certain, feels in that space of, of course, this is happening. So this is what I mean about life begins after the breakthrough. You become more of who you truly are, where you're living at your fullest self-expression. A new you at a higher timeline. So your invitation is to continue on that timeline, to grow, to evolve to a higher one. And this is it, one that you didn't think was possible yet. As you evolve and grow, we all create and ultimately start to see more and more possibilities. We all truly have limitless potential. The sticky bit is when we're in that breakthrough, we do hear some amazing thoughts that can be very persuasive when the stuff is bubbling up, whether we've said things like, I've just had my best month, things are feeling really good, so maybe I'll just skip my personal development or my manifesting ritual today. So 
we sort of reward ourselves by not doing the thing that created the results. Or how about this one? I'm just going to wait until I've got this and that and this and that in place before I launch my new program. Instead of getting the support in place, you can do it all with all more ease. That expense of waiting up, what is it costing you? Don't believe your thoughts. It's a thought form that's been created as you've hit your nervous system capacity, your energetic ceiling. So know that as you listen to that, you're allowing those old past timelines to move you back to an old default future timeline. The impact of this means that they take longer to manifest. Got this yo-yo effect going on. So we'd love to know when you're in the breakthrough, what kind of things have you found yourself thinking? This is where the uh, energetic buffering is going on. Our frequency starts to get denser. We start to have push-pull going on and then it slows everything down and the universe is going, I'm really confused. What is it that you want? <laughs> what do you want? I've worked with over, well over 10,000 people and help them to break through and move on to a higher timeline. Like and I quickly see patterns and, that people are, are running that keep them on their current timeline. I'd love to help you break through to have the kind of results that my clients have. And if you're a coach, for you to have these kind of results with your clients as well. I was sharing with a, a client today who is adding the Helix Method to her business that um, I received the guidance that we will be helping 2,500 people this year with the Helix Method in the, in the programs. And a part of me went, who, me? And of course, it's not me. It'll be through all the coaches that we train and who they're helping. Such as helping women healing from abusive relationships so they can step into empowered relationships. I used to lead on developing domestic abuse and sexual abuse services for those affected by domestic abuse and sexual abuse. And I was a senior manager in social services. So this is an area that's really close to my heart. And I bring all of my training and knowledge from my leadership there into helping you coach people who've experienced trauma. I want the Helix Method coaches and mentors to be trauma informed so that they can feel confident to handle anything that their clients are experiencing so they are truly leaders in the field of energy coaching so i'm so excited to to hear your missions and your visions and for those of you that are stepping into the helix method certification how you're going to use the helix method to empower your clients i cannot wait to hear So let's dive deeper into this now. We were talking yesterday about holding money and attachments. And if we're feeling disconnected, how can we be connected to the energy of money? When we heal our nervous system, it then feels safe to hold more money. And then we can have a secure attachment to more money. So just going to invite you just to feel into this. Notice how your conscious mind answers this. Notice how your body answers this. Notice how your higher self answers this. So if you were to have a million dollars deposited into your bank account today, and you literally saw a million dollars in your bank account, how would you respond? Do you notice what might happen with your body? What tends to happen there is actually some level of dysregulation, a reversed energy. And of course, then there's things that are popping up in the, the, the body unconsciously. Those pieces that show up in the body, whatever they are, can go back to ancestral lineage, can go back to personal experiences, these imprints in the nervous systems getting triggered. These things are actually impacting your capacity to hold that money. And of course, from a cognitive perspective, 
everybody's like, if someone deposited a million dollars in my bank account, I would be completely psyched. So excited. I'd go out and celebrate. There's no contraction at all. <laughs> and we see this with lottery winners. There's stories written about it all the time, aren't there? Where we hear about the lottery, lottery winner who won 100 million, or whatever it might be. And then four years later, they've spent it all. They win a huge amount. It's deposited in their bank account. Their nervous system actually gets flooded. They haven't got the identity of that level of millionaire, rest or millionaire, because they've never held that amount of money. There's some kind of lack of safety, and then they end up spending it all because they don't feel a sense of regulation. It's too much all at once. And as a collective, when we're all tapped into the collective consciousness, there's actually a ton of dysregulation with money as a whole. So that's a pattern that we see with lottery winners. It's a pattern that I see with high achievers. So how do we allow your nervous system to come into safety with holding a lot of money so it doesn't blow out your system? When you're scaling your business, you can then actually calibrate to a higher and higher amount. It is one thing making money and then another thing is actually holding money. They can be two different reactions inside of your nervous system. So I'm going to invite us to connect with the energy of money now. Yeah, it's a real thing. Had, there's a comment here. I've had a million and that's what happened. I couldn't hold it. Let's get you calibrated so you can hold it. So I'm going to invite you to actually envisage this amount of money. The amount of money that you desire to hold with your in your bank account. Now I'm going to invite you to envisage that amount of money actually in your bank account right, right now. So if it's, imagine the amount that you're calling in over the next 30 days and that amount, you have that consistently for a year. How much will that be? Will that be 100,000? Will that be a million? Let's just put that amount in your bank account right now. I want you to envisage yourself having it in the bank account and holding it in your body. So just to start now, just to breathe in for four, breathe out for four. Starting to slow your breathing down to so do a body scan. And you notice the money is there, all of it right now. How does your body react? So you breathe in for four, breathe out for four. Just become aware of how your body is speaking to you. Are there any pressures? Are there any temperature changes? Memories flashing forward. Anywhere that you can feel a little flutter in the heart and you think, oh, there's a little bit of anxiety there. Those are the things we want to get curious about as we play with holding this amount of money, holding it in your bank account. And as you see this amount in your bank account, are you certain it's going to stay there? Or is there any fear around what if it all suddenly disappears? Or is there a sense of, that's okay, if there's some expenses coming up, there's always more money coming, there's always more money coming. What's really important here is we want to have a secure attachment with money. And so there's a couple of different kinds of attachment and we tend to oscillate between anxious attachment and avoidant attachment with money. Well, we're either really anxious and we're chasing money and we're feeling unsafe, like we don't know where it's going to come in from, or it's going to suddenly disappear. 
or avoidance attachments where we're ignoring the money, we're not even looking at the money, we don't even know what's in the bank account. So this can really play into how you're holding money because what I often find to be true is that you know when you don't know how the money is just disappearing that there's actually a lot of avoidance going on. That's that's probably showing up in your money relationship. And if we're in an avoidance pattern, we are disconnected from the energy of money. So it is really important to look at money, to know what's coming in, what's going out, to look money in the eye. A lot of people avoid it because they get a stress response to their nervous system. Of, oh no, that's just happened. All that money's gone out. So one of the important places that you're going to want to focus on is how can I allow myself to actually feel empowered by the ways that I'm investing and spending my money? How can I allow myself to really understand what I'm investing and spending in my business, into my food, clothes? Whatever you're buying for yourself. How can I let myself see it from the lens of what money is providing to me? It's a relationship. Money is giving you something. And letting your nervous system feeling safe in your money spending habits, regardless of what, what they are. This will start to shift some of the patterning that you may be experiencing in your nervous system with money because you'll stop avoiding. You'll start looking at where the money's going. So you want to expand that pinnacle, that nervous system pinnacle. You want to repair the attachment. So we're feeling more and more connected with money rather than disconnected with money. So recognizing where we may be having a nervous system response this disconnection, this dysregulation with money. And that will have an impact, you know, not only on how much you're holding, but how you're running your business, how, how you feel in your business. So just inviting you just to journal right now, just to take a moment to contemplate this and to consider what is my predominant pattern with money? Am I anxious or am I avoidant? Where am I not looking at money? Where am I feeling shame about money? Am I in right relationship with money? Do I feel really good, secure with money? Is that reflected in my bank account? And this is important as we're wanting to grow our businesses so that we can feel safe and secure as we're growing our businesses because businesses have phase of growth and profit. There's often less profit in the business when you're in a growth phase. Just knowing what these cycles are, handling your nervous system whilst you're going through these cycles. the more intentional decisions that we can make in relation to money consciously and how we can be in right relationship with money have a huge impact on how much money is in your bank account. This is your money set point. So who wants to find out where their current money set point is energetically? Let me know in the comments if you're like, yes, I need to find out where it is. Of course, you'll consciously know because you'll know what income is coming in each month for, the, let's say, for the last six months or thereabouts. You'll be like, yeah, that's the money set point because that's the salary I've got coming in. That's the money I'm paying myself from the business, whatever it is. And thank you to everyone who's completing the surveys. I can see that it's what absolutely incredible. People are wanting to triple their income. You're going to need to be vibrating at a different frequency to be a different version of yourself to receive that. So as a first step, 
let's play what I like to call this playing higher and lower. We're going to find out where your money default set point is and to release the energetic stickiness around that. So let me know if you are up for that. You got some yeses. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. So what I'm going to invite you to do is to draw a line on a piece of paper. <clears throat> this is a... going to give you a visual representation of what we're going to be doing energetically and with the first amount on the very far left being a thousand and then on the right hand side whatever it is is the amount that you desire so if it's if you're going up to a hundred thousand or a million whatever whatever your amount is just go from one to the amount you're calling in for this year this month you can do it for a month and then in the middle I want you to go up in, if you're um, going from 1,000 to 5,000, then you may want to go up in 500s. If you're going up to 100,000 or a million, you want to go up in bigger chunks. So you may want to choose to go up in chunks of 10,000. So you'll have a timeline with the number's going up to the amount that you want to call in on a monthly basis. So we are, just to clarify, we're doing this for a monthly basis. Then what we're going to do is we'll activate your connection with your higher self, and then we're going to muscle test to find out whether you're going to energetically allow in or make it very sticky, <laughs> the amount of money that you want to call in. We're going to find out where your set point is. Ready? So I'm going to guide you through. So let's take a moment to, once you've drawn your timeline, let me know in the comments if you've done your timeline. Okay, awesome. It's done. Done, done, done. Okay, beautiful. Good to see all your comments. Keep them coming in. I do read them all. Nice. Alrighty, so. Let's take a moment just to activate our connection with our higher self. So just taking a moment just to close your eyes. Start to increase, increase your life force energy by breathing in for four, holding for four, and breathing out for eight. And just to do this three times. Notice how your body's responding. And then affirming to yourself, speaking to all levels of my consciousness. I intend that in the name of divine truth, love and light, let all information come from my higher self and be in alignment with my divine truth, my highest good and the highest good of all. I am creating a clear channel of communication and manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self. They are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, now from this place, I'm going to invite you to stand up. We're going to use your body as a dousing device and we're going to Find out which statements you get a yes to and which statements you get a no to. So what I want you to do is to start on the left-hand side of your timeline that you've created and ask and say, I allow myself to receive over a thousand pounds or dollars in 30 days and see if you get a yes or a no. And you might be like, Louisa, I want way more money than a thousand. 
I know. <laughs> the reason why we start there is because often what can happen is we're saying that we want to have the 100K or whatever it is, and actually, and we're focusing all our attention around the 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 amount that we want to call in. We're thinking we're getting alignment and all things, and actually the sticking point is much further along before that. So I want you to go up in chunks of 5,000 or 10,000, depending on what it, the amount is that you're calling in over the next 30 days. So I allow myself to receive over 1,000. If you get a yes, you're going to go higher, and you're going to go, I allow myself to receive over 5,000. If you get a yes, you're going to go higher. I allow myself to receive over 10,000. If you get a yes, you're going to go higher. If you get a no, you're going to go, I allow myself to receive over 7,000. They're going to find out where the amount is. So this is why I call it playing higher, higher and lower. <laughs> and then find the points along your timeline where there is stickiness. So let's say you're calling in 100K. You've started mo moving along from the left-hand side. You found some stickiness around 7,000. Just make a note of it there. And then I want you to continue to find if there are any other sticking points. Does that make sense? I'm going to just see... If there's any questions, I want to make sure that's clear for everybody. Let me know in the Facebook group if you have any questions. Of course, if you're on the replay as well, do post your questions. I will circle back and answer them. And as I'm traveling later today, if I don't get back to you today, I will get to you tomorrow. Alrighty, so I'm going to give you, let's take five minutes so you can find this, these sticky points. And let me know in the comments what you find. Was it smooth all the way up to the amount that you want to call in, or did you find some sticking points along the timeline? Hi, Victoria. So Debbie's found a sticky point. And is the sticky point around the amount that you want to call in, or is it around the amount before the amount you want to call in? You know, everyone's got. Okay, this is good. So we're really drilling down now and pinpointing where there may be some stickiness. And this can all be tied in with different traumas that you've had tapped into, tied in with those amounts of money at, at various points along your, your, your life experience. This is why this is key to, to be doing this. So everybody got theirs. I know some of you may be muscle testing for a little bit longer because you've got some bigger numbers that you're calling in. We might be doing this for the first time. So when you're done and you found your amounts, let me know in the comments. Okay, so I've got halfway and reached a sticky point. Okay, awesome. So carry on going, see if there's any other sticky points. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and release the first sticky point. That often will unlock the other ones, but we're gonna just then confirm as we move forward with the other ones. So you're noticing how the different amounts have different responses. This is why this is so key to drill down in this way. If you were only to look at one number, the number that you want to call in, you'd miss all of this. And this is what I mean about people having blind spots. They don't even realize it. We go deep and we're able to really shift your vibration dramatically when we work in this way. 
So your energy is doing the heavy lifting for you. Hi, Lisa. So for those of you just joining us wondering if I'm not aware that my camera is not working, I am aware <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> so you just have to imagine what I look like today. We'll set the intention that's fixed for Monday. Uh, I'm just going to pop some music on so you've got a couple more minutes just to see where the stickiness is. Okay, so we've found, so got some more sticky points, identified 6,000, 7,000. Okay, so if there's no movement and you were recognizing some resistance before, you may have an energy reversal around that number. So what can happen is there's a, a number of different other things that happen, um, but where there is no movement, uh, one of the things that you can do is to ask, have I got an energy reversal in relation to that amount? So that would be 10,000, if I read that correctly. Um, so have I got an energy reversal to allowing in 10,000 in 30 days? Yeah. So anyway, you're like, hmm, there's a little bit of contradiction. It's like, I'll allow it in in 30 days, but I won't allow it in for the year then that is likely going to create some roller coaster results because of course that we need to be able to allow it in to compound over time. Alrighty, so we've got our amounts. So what I'm gonna invite you to do now is to start to release these. So we're gonna be saying, I'm ready to release my resistance to receiving that first sticky point. So whether that was 20K in 30 days, so I'm ready to release my resistance to receiving more than 20K in 30 days. I release and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness, holding CV17 as you do so. Remember, say it out loud once and then twice internally as you're doing this, really inviting you to notice how your body's responding. What's the energetic response that you're noticing? What are you noticing? So I know that you'll have a number to release. So just start on the lowest amount. And then we're going to spend, so five minutes, so you've got time to, to really dive in, not feeling rushed in relation to this. And then any questions, pop them in the in the chat so I can keep, keep you moving forward. If there's anything weird happening, I can help you with that as well. All right, so I'm going to pop some music on and I'm here to answer any questions. So we've got five minutes to, to start to clear this lot. So remembering saying it out loud once, twice internally for each one and holding CB17 as you're doing so. Alrighty.
with it but when we come back together so let me know if you're done in the in the chat Ready. Make a note of where you've got up to if there's a few more to, to, to do. Keep the flow flowing for everybody. We're going to move on now to creating that alignment. Connecting you in with the amount that you desire to how are we going to start to do this and to create this I want you to let me know what the amount is in the comment that you are intending on calling in over the next 30 days I've stuck with our 100k as an example so when I say 100k just swap out those words when you're repeating after me with the number that you want to call in so we're going to say it out loud once, this phrase. I'm the kind of person who receives over 100K in 30 days. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. And then we're going to say it twice internally. And I'll say it out loud so you can follow along. And I'm going to invite you to close your eyes as you do this. You can really allow yourself to feel how your body, the somatic response is in your body. Alrighty. But just... Start to bring your heart into coherence. By breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Focusing your awareness, your attention on your heart and start to fill your heart up with love. Feel your heart filling up with more and more love. Heart chakra is getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. Declare out loud, I'm the kind of person who receives over 100k in 30 days. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. If it feels good to do so, you can open your arms up to the air in a Y position as in receiving. And silently saying, I'm the kind of person who receives over 100K in 30 days. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. I'm the kind of person who receives over 100K in 30 days. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Notice how this feels in your body, any tingling in your hands. And have your arms up, just very slowly start to move them down by your side. And from this place, inviting you to live in the energy of the question. How can it be easy? How can it be easy? I wonder how. 
it can be easy. You're not trying to consciously answer it. You're handing over the question to the universe. With this raised frequency, just notice what ideas come to you in this now moment and of course throughout the day. Your invitation is to take action. Take action on these ideas that are coming to you. They're coming to you for a reason. As you've activated this frequency. Contemplating where can you add more value? How can you, or can you rather, I should say, reach out to five people today, see how they are, start up some conversations, see what they're looking for in terms of support in their business. Maybe you're the person to help them. Maybe you can refer them to somebody. What inspired action can you take today to open up your money channels, to keep them flowing, adding new products to offer to your clients? Leading with love, that go-giver energy. What would love do? Beautiful. Love these money goals that you're sharing. This is very exciting, reflecting a huge amount of impact. Beautiful. So I've got some projects being wrapped up. As you're feeling the frequency of this activation, we'd love to know what is your takeaway? What has your takeaway been so far from today? This is so you can anchor it in and embody it. Contemplating perhaps how have the blocks that we've been talking about been impacting your next level of success? We'd love to know your takeaways. Do pop your takeaways in the comments because this is how you get entered into the draw. I'm about to do the live giveaway. Dun, 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 dun. We've got the, the number. Of who is going to be the winner? Is it going to be the, the first person, the last person to post, the middle person, the 10th person, the 11th person? Who will it be? Alexander's in awe. Leandra's takeaway, keeping my heart open and not letting reality and experience to close it, make contract. Yes, 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 yes. Ready. Okay, so saying we'll go back and listen to the replay ASAP as this is a good one. Takeaway. Beautiful. Clearing. This is so exciting. Alrighty, let's see what other takeaways have we got. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful, importance of allowing grace. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, two-way flow. Alrighty, okay, so. Anyone else? Popping their takeaways in. Has everyone done their takeaway? See what we got. Yes. Yes. 
All righty. Okay, let's do the, the giveaway. So we're going to do a giveaway of another $1,000 gift voucher off a group coaching program to be used within 60 days. All righty. So I'm going to announce the winner of this drum roll. So the winner is, let's see, where are you? Leandra, congratulations, Leandra. You are the winner of this gift voucher. I'm so excited for you. I will circle back, have a conversation with you, of course. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes, you are so welcome. All righty, this is so exciting. So, so exciting. <laughs> yeah, the energy is amazing. Yes, 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 yes. Huge congratulations. This is just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I love seeing all your congratulations to each other as well. It's beautiful, beautiful. All righty. So we will be back on Monday. Um, there's plenty of integration time over the over the weekend for you to revisit the, the replays as well. Do ask questions. I'll pop into the Facebook group uh, to answer them as well. We'll be back on Monday to talk about your wealth activation strategy and to dive in deeper. And to build on that, we're wrapping up on Tuesday with our last call. We've got a powerful call for you for, on, on Tuesday as well. So stay with us so you can receive all the nuggets, the insights and the activations every day as we dive into this together. And yesterday, just to, as, a, as a recap, I invited you to continue with me. So if you're excited about the possibility and the potentiality of the results that you can have for yourself and your clients, I want to invite you to stay with me, continue forward on this journey with me. It must be said a huge congratulations for being here and for your commitment to yourself and for all the personal development and the learning how to bend reality this week so that the universe can surprise and delight you. You know what to do for your breakthrough and you can have rapid results just from all this transformational training that I've given you for free. But if you want to take it further, then I'm here for you and I would love to have you with us in the Helix Method Mastery. This is a world-class energy psychology training for intuitive coaches who are looking for unparalleled results for their clients, where they will learn how to create deeper, rapid transformation with proven proprietary frameworks, results-driven energy coaching programs with resale rights. You can deliver these programs to your clients and generate income within your practice within 60 days or less. So just invite you just to take a moment to imagine the impact of offering these services to your clients and what that will do for you and for your business. You will have a reputation for results. People will be referring to you. You'll enjoy more success and freedom. And we do have an incredible program for you. It's a business in a box so that you can take everything that I'm giving you to offer the Helix Method to your clients, providing you with additional revenue streams. Plus, we have incredible, incredible bonuses for you. And what you have in your hands has the potential for you to create multi six figures from repeatedly over your lifetime. So let me know if you would like the link so that you can learn more. We have everything laid out for you on a beautiful invitation page. You'll understand how you can use the techniques yourself, how to read your client's energy, how we'll be taking you through the training. Our program has won awards and is accredited by the IPHM. And our clients who have taken the Helix Method into their businesses are having success and seeing their clients have rapid transformation, which is just so huge. So this is for you if you want to offer Helix Method in your business. And you may be an established coach and trained in other modalities, or this may be your first modality that you have trained in. I've got you covered either way. And you'll receive world-class training on energy psychology and reality creation. And you'll be able to access this straight away in our portal Live calls for this do start in September and we will be having three calls a month. Two will be focused on energy training and you'll have see live demos with me working with someone with a volunteer, opportunities for practice, practice sessions. The community is lovely, absolutely lovely. We have a private community. I'll be moving it into Telegram shortly. So this is where you can stay connected, find practice partners, collaborate, ask questions. I'm there with you every step of the way. And this year we have very exciting bonuses for you. So you'll receive live experiences of our three inner circle coaching programs, the Love Codes, the Wealth Portal and the Body. So you can have your own transformations. 
and have me model how to lead and facilitate the programs as well. And so that you're energetically aligned with growing your business, we've got you covered with our Infinite Prosperity Digital Business Digital Toolkit. So you'll receive access to the business program, which has got everything you need, training, templates, to support you in growing your business. And we'll provide one of the calls that we'll have each month will be to support you in implementing and answering your pressing questions in relation to this. So we've got you, we're here for you. We're super excited to welcome you into the Helix Method. And right now there are two ways to save with our exclusive Limitless Wealth Masterclass savings. So these are available for you until Tuesday. You can pay in full for uh, in US dollars for 12,000. And as a fast action bonus between now and Saturday, the 6th of July, you'll enjoy a private, a bonus private one-to-one -one with me as well. You can also choose if it feels more aligned, a payment plan. So 12 payments of 1,250 US dollars. And we have got the option for you to pay in full in, in British pounds as well. So just comment link, Helix link, if you'd like the link. You can DM me as well if you'd like the link and we'll pop it over for you. And then, of course, if you've got any questions, then just we can have a chat in Messenger or you can uh, book a call and we all chat through. So you, just so you can make an aligned decision either way. And... By all means, book a call if you want to explore other ways that we can work together and I'll share what that looks like as well. Alrighty, so before we wrap up, I would love to ask you if you could do me one favour. We've got a survey for our masterclass. I'd be super grateful if you could complete that. It helps me to shape these masterclasses moving forward. And as a thank you, we'll pop your name into the draw. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. If you've already done it, I'll just pop it there for you. those of you that haven't yet. That'd be super helpful. And even if Helix Method Mastery is not for you, then just book a call. There are many other ways that we can continue together. On the call, we'll give you huge value, action steps to fulfill your goals. Even if working together isn't a good fit right, right now, then just book a call anyway, and we'll make sure that you've got clarity on how you can have your breakthrough. So you can scan the QR code there on the screen, which will take you through to the, to the booking link to book your call. And I will be back here on Monday to for your personal wealth activation strategy. I'm going to leave the room open for a moment so you can grab the various links. And I will see you, see you on Monday. Until then, sending you all lots and lots of love.